forces like what I am here. And if you pick either one of these three, they flavour what your shit does. So, like, an armour company guy more specialises in, like, tanks and, you know, fucking upgrading the vehicle crews and assault engineers and stuff like that. The infantry company's got, like, the motor truck there to provide infantry support and the um, Browning LMG to upgrade your squads with and shit like that. Stuff like that, you know, like, the focus on different things, either add new units or new abilities or improve existing units or abilities, stuff like that. You got these little bulletins that are just, like, little mini passives that don't add up too much. Like, 3% reload speed on your riflemen and shit like that, it's not great. And they're just camouflages. On the map itself, these little dots are capture points. If you capture them, your manpower rate increases. The little um, bullets, they're munitions points. If you capture them, you, your munitions goes up faster. And the little fuel cans are fuel points. If you capture them, your fuel goes up faster. Those are free resources. Manpower, fuel, and munitions. Not in that order, really. I'd say manpower, munitions, and then fuel, but it don't really matter. But those are the free resources as well. I guess population is a resource as well, but to be fair, it rarely maxes out. But the higher your population, the slower your manpower goes up. A bit like um, Warcraft 3, if you ever played Warcraft 3. A bit like that. So that's kind of it in a nutshell, for at least the setup of the game. Obviously, you want to capture as many points as possible. You want to get as many of these main points and hold them as much as you can, because same as any kind of domination type gameplay, the more points you hold, the faster the other team's points tick down or yours tick up, depending on the variant of domination. So if I've got two points and he's got one, his points will tick down, mine won't. If I've got three points and he's got none, his points ticks down very quickly and stuff like that. And if you've got one point, he's got one point, and then there's one neutral point, neither of your points tick down. Simple as that. Simple as that. Well, the American, like, all the races are quite different as well. Like I said, don't worry about the speed of playing stuff like that. I'm just explaining stuff like that. But the, um, all the races are quite different. The... Were Max. The reg... Let's just call them old Germans. Old school Germans are a bit more like Space Marines in Donner Water, where you kind of, like, you tear up and you tech up and... You build a few buildings, but not much. The Soviets are a bit m kind of like Orcs and Imperial Guard, I guess. A bit like a combination of the two. A bit more spammy units and stuff like that, but it's a bit like Imperial Guard, but like Sentinel spam and shit like that. Why is it everything with Sentinels always spammer? Anyway. Um, the Oberkommando West, the new Germans, the elite Germans, they've got like little trucks that you deploy further up the field and stuff like that. They've all got like different mechanics stuff like that, and the US one is kind of like you don't build any more buildings really, not for a base structure. You've got this big encampment kind of here. And um, all your shit comes out of these buildings. All the tiers, all four tiers of it. And if you want like a bazooka, you unlock it via the upgrade there, and then you run over to the bazooka rack and pick one up. Or if you wanted a, um, a bar or a M1, you run over to there and pick them up. So, I think with the, uh, like I said, I'm still um, learning the game, but usually I start off with shit tons of riflemen, and these guys should have been captured already. So, if it had been playing normally, this guy would have been running out and probably capturing either a... Uh, a capture point or a... I'm, not, I'm never sure on the actual star capture points, like... They're all capture points, really. Resource points... No, they're capture points, really, aren't they? These are resource points. So, see me any kind of domination type gameplay. Is it me or is it really quiet? No, no it's alright. I just had the volume really low down. So, as we any kind of domination, stand in a circle, it starts to swing your way. If an enemy stood in here, it would lock. And nobody be able to capture it until one of you's been ousted. Simple as that. There's all kinds of other, like little weird mechanics. Uh, let me just um. Whoops. Oh, oh dear. One sec. Let me just um. I have to use um auto hotkey. Cause you go really strangely. You can't bind controls in Company of Heroes. I don't know why they did it that way. It's very very peculiar. Like no way to bind controls. Straight, I, it's not me missing it as well. Look at the, these are the, these are the options: gameplay, graphics, sound, broadcasting. There is nothing in here. Look, look. There's nothing in those three tabs. Nothing to scroll down or anything like that. That's it. There, there's no there's no extra options. No like edit keybinds somewhere or anything like. There's nothing. So to redo your binds, you need to use a program like Auto Hotkey, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. But is it working now? Ah, there we go. There we go. 
Because I like to use WSD for camera movement. And I also like to rebind the tactical map so you can see things a bit easier. So you send your guys out, capture your points, stuff like that, eventually meet some dudes, but while they're running off capturing shit... Uh, just like that guy, it's alright, it doesn't really matter. But there's all kinds of little weird bits and shit as well, which is what I like about the game. Such as, like, getting in buildings. And the buildings, like... You probably- I don't know if you can shoot out of there, because that's technically a door, rather than a window, but... You can only shoot out of, like, windows and firing points. Like, so that side, I'd have two firing points, you can see the, um... The dudes in the windows there. So if you're shooting out of the- if you get- if you're in a building as well and you're getting shot at, I think it's something like a 50-50 chance whether you get hit, or the building gets hit. Unless it's like a mortar or something like that, then you assume just the building get, gets hit, but fuck knows. Like I said, I don't pretend to be, um, all knowledgeable. In company videos, like, I can't even move this fucking camera right around. It's nice, though. I think it's a nice looking, um, nice looking game. Shame about the snow map, but, you know, other than that. Oh, yeah, but, like, for example, um, right here and stuff like that. I mean, look at this house. It's got, like, fucking five windows on the motherfucker, so if you stood in this kind of thing and somebody's in that building, it's not going to be advisable to attack from this side. See the guys. Get in the windows. Okay, I'm breaking window. That's one. Where's all the rest of the guys? Have they surrounded the house? Wait, you're in the wrong side. I guess I guess they'd move to the other windows. If somebody was here, they'd all come over this side, and if somebody was on this side, they'd all come over here or something like that. But say from this side, there's only two windows. So you'd not receive as much fire if you're attacking from this side. Stuff it's stuff like that, I like. There's also like a really strong cover system. So there, well let's let's find best kind of cover first. Where's best cover? Need best cover. What is best cover? I can't find no best cover. There must be some best cover somewhere. Really? Where's best cover? Well, either way- Oh, here we go, here we go. Fucking hell, I've got to find a tractor for best cover. Right, so here we go. A green shield with a plus on it indicates the best cover that you can get. But it's- What are you doing in the building? Are you meant to be over there? So don't worry about the computer, it's on fucking easiest, who cares? And obviously, like, you capture- as it says there, you're capturing a fuel point. So I think that plus seven means that you're getting an extra seven fuel every minute now. And same with the resource points, you get in plus five for that, uh, plus five munitions, plus three fuel a minute. That one's plus five munitions, plus three fuel, etc. Um, what's doing now? Oh yeah, the cover, the cover. Very directional, so if same on this side, and there was somebody over here, it'd have a, a strong chance of hitting the cover there. You're in decent cover, but if it was on this side, and they were over there shooting at me, there's, it, the cover actually has to be intercepting the bullets. It's not just like, well, I'm in green cover, so no, it counts. No, it's very directional. Very directional. Same as if somebody was on that fence and they're on the wrong side of it. They're on this side, and now we're on that side shooting them. If there's no cover in between you and the enemy, don't count. Simple as that. You can also do shit like vaulting over stuff. They can't just, if, like, if I click there, they're gonna, they're gonna walk all the way fucking round. So you've actually gotta do a fair bit, a little bit of micro on your stuff. Not massive amounts, but a little bit. And the um, gold cover's not as good as the green cover, and there's red cover, which actually put the- Where is it? There. Out, red go. cover with like a strike through it, that's um, indicating you actually take more damage. So that's not really cover at all, really, is it? It's more like vulnerability. And you've got battle phases, like command points, whatever like that. At the moment we're in- um, I, I call it battle phases, me, but one, uh, zero command points at the moment. When it, gets, it, it slowly ticks up when it gets to one, then it gets to two. And then it'll unlock that, as it says, there requires two command points. That needs two, that needs three, that needs eight, and that needs nine. And there's ones that cost even more than that, like up to about fucking 13, 14 or something like that. Shit tons. Takes about 40 minutes before you can actually use it or anything like that. So they're kind of like little units and perks and um, bits and bobs and shit that unlock as the game progresses. You can't force that time to go any faster. Oh yeah, one final thing, I guess. One final thing. If you're on a snow map like this one, I don't- is this- yeah, yeah, it'll be a winter one. Every blue moon, there can be blizzards. And... Vehicles are alright, but infantry can die from cold. So you need to get near a fire, or in a building, or near your base. I don't know if this one counts. Oh, here we go, here's some dudes. Should we go, should we go fight him for laugh? We'll go fight him. One- just one squad of riflemen. Unless we get anybody closer. I don't think we've got anybody closer. Look at this guy here. See, they're in cover there, but it's not a great cover. If I get out of the fucking building and stand there, 
I've got very good cover and they've got nothing. We're losing a capture point. Try to take my point. No, you don't. Move in. What's the front tech in that? Oh shit, they die fast. Retreat, retreat. That's not, oh yeah, that's another mechanic as well. When your shit gets low, just like in Dawn of War. If you, oh, fucking hell, he's dead. Just, got a report of an infantry unit just like in Dawn of War, you can retreat units and then reinforce them back at base. Would have been a good example to show you there, but no worries, you get it. I can't believe the computer's not actually captured anything. It's literally just come for this one point all the way across the map. It's not captured anything. You'd see it. Not that it retreated units. Very strange. But it is an easy... It's an easy CPU. Dude, stop so shouting. Got fucking riflemen shouting. Right then, dudes. So. Let's actually get a proper game. I just thought, like, not everybody's played Dawn of War. And not everybody's played Company of Heroes. So I just thought I'd give you a brief overview of the game. Just brief. Right then. Apparently the most viable unit is the Rifleman, with four kills and zero deaths. Fair enough. Right, what we're looking for? We're looking for Automatch versus Players. I expect that I will lose. I always seem to lose in team games. I do alright, but I always seem to lose. I don't know why. I'm starting to feel a bit paranoid about it. Like it's my fault that we're losing, or something like that, but I do alright on damage. I do alright on damage, and I do alright on, um... Like, you know, capture how many points I've taken and how many points I've lost and shit like that, but... We seem to lose. All the time. <laughs> Incoming load time, by the way. My load time's not bad. Obviously a lot faster after it's loaded once. But people... It's, I don't know what it is about Relic RTS games. They always seem to take a hell of a long time to load. So long. But here we go, guys. This will be a lot more interesting now. Promises. <laughs> It's like I said, I just wanted to uh, do a brief course, like, just so folk know what the fuck is going on. It's like, what's that shield mean? Why, when it's got like a flashing exclamation point, you know, what's going on with that? And the running back to base, what's going on with that and shit? Just thought it was prudent to, um, like I said, do, do, do a brief little course, just so folk know what the fuck's going off, like. You know, these are roughly the Americans, this is a unit, this is the tactical map, you know, you can go in buildings, you can stand behind cover, you've got, like, unit abilities, which I didn't really show you much of there, but... You'll get it, you'll get it as we, as we go. Basic gist, indeed. Keep your covers, keep your dudes in cover or they're dead. Indeed. For the most, most of the units, indeed, that's how it goes. You want to be in cover, but at the same time you want to be flanking and doing stuff proper and shit, and... There's quite a lot to it, actually. It's not, like, as micro-intensive as, like, say, StarCraft, but it's kind of, like, you do a little bit more with the units, but you've got less units, you know? It's like controlling, like, f two, two to four units, but you've got to control them a little bit more. It it it's weird. I told you there's a decent load time coming. Oh! Almost. He's one bullet away from loading. Come on, do load that bullet. Damn it, I've never seen anybody, um, pause. That must be like 99% or something. I've never seen anybody pause on it that long. Standard infantry rifles and machine guns, no damage to tanks. What? That's not very realistic now, is it? Totally is. But then again, Call of Duty, even if it wasn't co um, Company of Call of Duty, fucking hell, Company of Heroes doesn't, um, doesn't, I, I don't know, it doesn't strike me as a game that goes for, like, hyper-realism. I think, um, is it Men of War? I briefly played that. That seems to be going for realism, like, you know, balance-wise and stuff like that. This tank was generally perceived as being better than this one and sh shit like that and trying to be as accurate as possible. Like, this tank could shoot this far and it had this kind of drop at this kind of range and shit like that. It's like, whoa, way too complicated for me. I know, I told you the decent load time in coin, and then he seemed to be loading alright, and now he's taking fucking ages. Oh, here we go, here we go, fucking hell. Oh, no, he's gone. Replaced by AI. That's a good start. Very, very good start. God, first stream game, and we've got somebody that's been dropped. So, where am I going? I think I'm going to go to the infantry company. I've got... I've played him a couple of times, so I've got semi-experience, but... 
I say experience in quote marks. Because, not really. So, first objective, spam out a few rifleman squads. Rifle squad ready for action. There we go, I knew building one rifle squad would pretty much lead into the next rifle squad. And we'll send this guy down hither. Well, I should go and capture that one first, but if I yeah 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 go on. Let's bring him round there. Do what you're doing. Oh, fucked up, fucked up with waypoints. Meant to double click that. There we go. Right, let's go get this VP. Yeah, they have victory points because it's called VPs. Dope. There we go. I said, I don't pretend to know all the terminology or strategy. I've no doubts anybody that plays Company of Heroes 2 will see me, like, build the entirely wrong fucking units at the wrong time and lose the wrong units at the right time, I guess. I don't know. Is this going to be a hard one to defend or not? Who fucking knows? Well, oh, there's his extra rifle dudes. Right, here down we go. Wait a minute, I was supposed to be researching something by now. Ooh, no, perfect timing, grenades. And now I need a third? I, I, I like free rifleman squads. Gives me options. Any good cover around here? No, nope, looks like this is gonna have to do. In fact, may as well move my guys down there. Move my guys, oh, top my guys. We're playing for fun. We can swing the camera around in the middle of a match. It's alright. It's just for fun. I think we're losing this fight against fucking pioneers. Oh, Stern Pioneer, my apologies. Stern Pioneers. Yeah, we're losing that fight. It's alright, though. Got reinforcements coming in. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Where did the other squads go? Um, what What the fuck? I was not paying attention. I was so busy pissing around in that fight, I was not paying attention. I lost a rifleman squad somewhere. Where? Where did I lose that rifleman squad? I was not paying attention. I didn't... No, I already- I had two, didn't I? I had two in an echelon squad. Grenade that motherfucker. Nice. Get him before I caps! Get him! Oh, you fuck! Nice, I got the unit anyway, it's alright. Right, come on, rifleman, get down here. And as you can see, back at base... I didn't reinforce any units in the um, test game, but you just reinforce like that. There you go. Reinforce, 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 reinforce. Rifleman, what are you doing? Why were three of you just hanging around in the trees? Don't hang around in the trees. Get into the fucking field. So, I need an, I need an ambulance. Yeah, ambulance. And after that, another rifleman squad, because I lost one like an idiot. I don't know how I lost them. I think, was it around this area or something like these points? Must have been some shit going down. Either way, I'm doing my job. Let's try to keep this unit here. Let's try to keep this unit here until the ambulance comes. I don't know how far is it off. About 50%. Let's wait until it gets here. In fact, let's try to capture this ammunition point. How's this team doing? They seem to be doing all right down there. And there's some action going off around there. Oh, that might be a good grenade. That might be a good grenade there. Get him before he notices. Get him, get him before, throw the grenade before he notices. He's doing something else. It's micro rocket. Yeah. Move, fucking guys. suck it. Those riflemen and grenades, man. They're so fucking good. Ambulance. Cool. Get over here. Actually, I'll bring those rear echelon troops to um, help these guys, just in case. And... No, another rifleman squad. Another rifleman squad. And then we'll go towards a lieutenant. Is it a lieutenant? Lieutenant, yes. Causing a lieutenant command squad. Yep. Still waiting for this fucking ambulance. Oh, is it coming? Stop getting stuck in the wood. What's the ambulance doing? You can't drive up there. You can't drive up wood. What are you doing? Ambulance. Are you, are you trying? I guess. He knew. He knew. Hey, up. Oh, definite grenade over there, man. Me, me and my fucking nerds, man, like this shit. Grenade. Yo! Oh, he moved! He was watching. It's alright, let's circle around. Get him! Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Right, it's ambulance. Are we doing not- Wait, whoa, 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 what's happening with the fucking rear echelons here? 
Are they alright? Oh, fuck me. No, 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 no. Oh! God damn, my riflemen are the wrong range. I keep fucking up with those riflemen. Sorry, we'll get a lieutenant. Can we bring in Paris soon? Oh, that's the wrong fucking one. We don't bring in Paris with this. Derp! If I get those medics out of the truck, I think they heal my squad. They do. They do indeed. Right, let's bring the riflemen down. Reinforce these. I can't they've lost another. That's two rifleman squads I've lost there. Very daft. Right, I think. Get the um. Yeah, get the ambulance crew back in there. Let's move back. I've only got one squad and an ambulance. If they bring some kind of armored car or something like that, my ambulance is dead and probably so is my infantry squad. So let's um, pull back. How's the tactical map doing right down here? What's this? Oh yeah, my motor half truck. I was like, what the fuck is this? Where is this unit? Yeah, I called it in. I don't like this woodland bit. It's bastardized for vehicles. It is a, it's a complete bastard down this side of the map. I mean, no wonder nobody's attacking it. In fact, you know what? I might leave a squad of rifles up here. There's a squad of rifles up there. And let's bring another motor truck in. Let's bring all those guys down over here. Oh shit, wait a minute. Oh, fuck me. That's a machine gun setting up. Wait a minute. Be careful. Oh, I didn't really get in it. I don't think I can take out that armored car at the moment. I've got anti-tank grenades, but he's not going to stand there and let me anti-tank nade him. Get out. I think this lieutenant could do a decent job against light armored vehicles. I'm not 100%. Hey, yo, ambulance, where are you going? Nice, nice. Good job, lads. Ambulance stops if you can't, you can't do anything with ambulance unless it's fucking stationary. Yeah, in fact, let's put these um, up there. And how's my squads doing? He's all right. Hey, get out, get fucking trucks, get out of the way. Right, here we go. Who's in the capture point? Fuck no. Come on, surely the artillery can do something against that. No, 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 no. Why can't I reinforce here? Medics, get out. Maybe they don't need reinforcing. I can't believe the artillery's not fucking clearing it yet. It's the fucking woods and shit. There's too many woods there. Doing alright here? Oh, if only I could have got that guy. Get him. Get, get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. No. That's a shame. Oh, well. Like I say, really, I want to get the fuck out of here. I certainly need... What do we need? Utility car will do. Effective against infantry and light armoured vehicles. And a machine gun. Yep. Floating way too much resource there and shit. Right, either way, those armoured cars seem absolutely fine where they are. Get the medics out. That's what I was trying to do before, in the middle of the fucking fight. Why can't I reinforce that rifleman? Oh, no, you can't reinforce that the fucking ambulances. Derp, you need an half track for that. Well, send him home then. Right, I think they're all healed up. 
How do you get them back in? Oh yeah, there we go. Right then, let's move forward a little bit. The enemy seems occupied on this front. In fact, yes, we've got armored cars and shit all over us shit. In fact, where's my armored car? Here's my armored car. Let's help this, um... This resource point here. Get a grenade in there. Fucking squad man, no. Little swine. I mean... Ah, let's just send him back, he's fucked. I would complain, but really... Oh my god, what the fuck is that? What's that fucking half-track doing there? Someone just say something about a Panzer Shrek. That's not cool at all. Don't really want to mess with that. Panzer Shrek will hurt. Now, let's send them back to the ambulance. Let's move these trucks forward a little bit so they can actually assist. So, what else we got? We've got this machine gun we need. Hey, what's this? Actually, let's bring this machine gun down here. Reinforce all these dudes. Let's get rid of this Panzer squad. Nope, never mind, he's running. Fuck him. Either way, let's help out his teammates a little bit. They seem to be struggling on this other point. Yeah, let's come down here and help him out a little bit. And should I get another motor car? I don't know. I think I'll get another fucking, um, another utility car. And I'll send it down south. Because they've got, yeah, hey up. Hey up. Hey, he took some damage there. What the fuck was that? Let's back these trucks up to here. Cause connect both of those points from here, I think. And let's put some troops onto the point. Ambulance move over there. Taking fire, am I? Here we go. And now I wish I had the light car over here. Fuck. Shit, me vehicles. I do believe this point might may be lost. No, okay. He fled. Bro, 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 thank you very much, dude. Oh, just in case, I thought he might have been running that. Smoke grenade that side. Oh shit! Shouldn't have done that. Should have fucking run him. Should run him much earlier than that. Ah, oh, you fuck. And they're so much better at close range than what my riflemen are. It was close. Way too close. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to abandon this. All my vehicles are back at base now as well. Boys, you ready to roll out? Yep. Awaiting orders. Secure the ammo so we can get out of here. So where are we gonna go then? We seem to have that bottom left. And we've got bottom right still for the moment. He needs to go back. A capture point is under attack. Yeah, let's get an half track as well for reinforcement. And I could do some I need more riflemen. Definitely. And let's get the bazooka upgrade next time as well. Where's the echelon troops? There they are. Let's give him an hand down here with his truck. Then again, the Panzerfaust. Don't be messing with them. Oh, thank you very much, dude. Thanks for streaming our game. Cheers from Relic Entertainment. I, I, doubt, that's, I doubt that's really Relic. <laughs> but thank you very much, dude. 
I'd be quite surprised if that was actually real, but thank you very much, dude. Thank you very much.